Hi everyone, thanks for jumping on to ClickTheHouston.com. It's meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Let's talk about who's going to see fresh snow for Christmas. I'll give you a hint. It will not be us here in Southeast Texas. We've been talking about we're going to see the temperatures in the 70s. But if you're traveling, a couple of spots out there, we've seen some light snow showers from that system over across much of the Southern California and in across the Southwest, dumping a little bit over in the Southern Rockies and then, of course, that storm system up into uh, New England. But watch as the next storm system comes in from the West Coast. And you can see things really start to pick up there across the Cascades, the Siskiyous, the Sierra Nevadas, and of course in through much of the Rockies as well. Could see upwards of maybe an extra foot to a foot and a half of some fresh powder by the time we get towards Christmas Day. Unfortunately for us across Southeast Texas, nada. And we're going to continue to stay very, very warm because the jet stream just too far north at this point. So we're tapping into all of this Gulf moisture. One of the reasons why we've been in the upper 60s the last couple of days. But travel wise over the next few, not bad. Most of the day today from Chicago down towards the Gulf Coast, we've got fairly quiet conditions. Atlanta as well. No problems in across the nation's capital. Now Denver seeing some snow showers. I have to keep a watch on that big hub for folks going from West Coast to East Coast. Salt Lake City as well. Big Delta hub there. Portland, Oregon, and then as you get down towards Los Angeles, LAX, dealing with some scattered showers and some occasional heavier rain. So check for any kind of travel delays if you're moving in through Southern California there. So our cold front is stalled out, becoming what we call a stationary boundary. It's just kind of hanging there across the state. 30s and 40s on the north end of that, 60s and 70s on the south end. And we're not going to see much change in our forecast, even though we've got the winds out of the north today. It'll likely just keep us at or around 70 degrees for this afternoon. So cloud cover, yes, could see some additional showers moving through overnight tonight. And you note that they're all coming in from the south as well. And so as the winds switch once again, that'll push that boundary to the north and that'll start to dominate that kind of Gulf muggy air mass. So tomorrow morning lows will start off in the upper 50s to low 60s and then quickly jumping back up to around the low 70s as we head towards tomorrow afternoon's forecast. We're going to keep a lot of cloud cover around for tomorrow afternoon and even through most of the weekend because all that nice cold chilly air is all being pushed north and east of us. And these storm systems, as they get moving, you can see the areas of low pressure stay mainly in the northern third of the United States. And so as the cold fronts get this far south, they don't have a lot of energy with them. They just kind of stall out, get stuck. And over the next couple of days, that'll be the story. One coming in for Christmas Eve stalls out. Here comes the second one in for Christmas Day. That one also will head north of us. So we keep that warm, muggy air mass in place. And unfortunately, that could keep us in the top five of all time. Warmest Christmas is 78 where we're going to forecast. If we hit that, we'll tie the uh, fifth warmest all time back in 1987. Certainly not as warm as it was last year. We set the all time record of uh, 83. 72 at uh, noon on Saturday. If you're headed out to the Texans for tailgating, Cincinnati Bengals coming to town. Kickoff at 725. We'll see temperatures in the upper 60s. So far cry from the 40s and biting cold that it was last Sunday uh, when the Texans were in town. 72 for tomorrow will go 76 to 78 both Saturday and Sunday. And then most of Hanukkah week in the last official week of 2016 will stay muggy and mild with temperatures in the low to mid 70s overnight lows in the 60s and about a 20 to 30 percent chance for some daily shower chances each and every day. Finally see some cooler air trying to move in here for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We'll continue to watch that trend as well over the next couple of days. That's your forecast from right here. Click the Houston.com. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the day and get you set for all your holiday travel plans and your holiday weekend as well. Then you can get your weather needs anytime you need it right here. Click the Houston.com.